Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if dragging and dropping files or folders is not working properly on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in User Account Control. One of the best matches should come back with change user account control settings. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to set it to the default here which is recommended. Notify me only when apps are trying to make changes to my computer. Select OK. So you might have had to make a change here. If not, maybe that's probably hopefully a little bit better. But if you had to make a change, go ahead and then see if your dragging and dropping is working again. Another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best match to go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now I recommend typing in SFC space forward slash scanl. Scanl should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. So again, SFC space forward slash scanl. Hit enter your keyboard to run the system file checker utility here. It will take a couple minutes to run, so you just have to be patient. And once that's done, restart your computer and hopefully that's resolved the problem. Another thing you try would be to open up the start menu again. Type in Windows PowerShell. Best match to come back on Windows PowerShell. Right click on it. Select Run as Administrator. Select Yes. And now paste in the DISM command I have in the description of the video in the same fashion we did with the command prompt. Command. And just hit Enter on your keyboard. Will take some time to run and just restart your computer once it's done. You have a little blinking cursor at the end, so it will take some time. This is not finished running right now. It will take, I'd say, 10 to 15 minutes at least. So just keep that in mind. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.